wreath laying ceremony in Sharpville, south of the province. Makura says it's important to support families who lost their loved ones in this massacre. Nearly six decades since the Sharpville massacre, scores remembered the 69 victims. They converged on the Sharpville memorial site. Family members and officials laid wreaths. The precinct has now been declared a national heritage site. Well, our reporter, that's Gillian Pele, spoke to Gauteng Premier David Makura in Sharpville. We don't only remember those who perished, but we also re recommit ourselves uh, that we want to build a country of the dreams of the four, our forebears who are lying here, uh, who would love to see a South Africa that's more united, non-racial, non-sexist and prosperous, that everyone, South Africans, live together. And there's no racism, there's no, there's no xenophobia, uh, there's no patriarchy. So that's, uh, for me, that's... That's what uh, to, today uh, uh, rekindles that vision and that, those values that we should still work hard to build a country of the dreams of those who were killed in, in, in 1960 here in Sharpville. And, and I, 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 make, I make a commitment on behalf of the Gauteng Provincial Government that we will do our best uh, to carry forward this torch. As human rights